POC Network here. We have an unboxing from the company Azul. This is an HDMI Windows 10 computer. In other words, it's something that plugs into the back of your TV, your TV, which means if you have a really big TV, you now have a really big computer. It is HDMI. It's just a stick. It's a quad core uh, Intel processor inside with two gigs of memory. And it has Ethernet on one side and, of course, has an antenna here for Wi-Fi. So you can connect it wirelessly to your network. And now you have a full Windows 10 computer with Internet. You just plug into the side of your or the back of your TV into an HDMI port and bam, you're done. Your TV is your monitor and your computer is neatly hidden behind it. And all you need is a Bluetooth keyboard and a mouse to get to the work and you have a fully functioning Windows 10 computer. So let's see what's inside. Starting with the not so exciting stuff, the documentation could be exciting. Do you have a question we can help? Contact us. Really cool. Brings you to a Zooltext website. And so you can kind of, you know, say, hey, how do I use this? I'm confused. Do I plug it into the USB port or HDMI port? I know it says HDMI, but should I? Or should I be adventurous? Probably don't want to do that. But if you have any questions, ask them. And then you have a little bit of a, uh, you know, instruction manual. It's really simple. It's a one page little unfold, fold folded page. Uh, it shows some diagrams of what it is, shows your LAN port, shows your USB 2.0 host port, your power input, uh, that's for a, a uh, micro USB cable, and power button to turn it on and off, and your card reader on the other side. And that's it, and it tells you exactly, you know, you, you obviously plug it into your TV to get it to work. Obviously, I'm hesitating looking at the stick just for the moment, so we see what else it comes with. So, additionally, you have your micro USB cable and with an outlet. This is important. This is so very important because so many of these devices do not come with a wall adapter. This does. So, if you cannot plug this and power this from the TV, which it might require its own separate input for voltage that's higher than your typical, I believe it is 5 volt uh, output of a TV, uh, then, you know, this is your wall port. You plug this into the, uh, the, the wall with your TV, and this powers the unit, so that way it'll function inside the HDMI port, because the HDMI port does not supply power to be able to, to make devices like these function. But a lot of these devices, they do not come with this wall port, which limits you to, does your, uh, your, your TV support USB? Do you have something else laying around? Or are you going to have to go looking around for your cell phone cable or, or, or tablet cable and use that instead and hope you don't forget that you were using it for this when the next time pops up that you need to charge your phone? And you go, what did I do with that cable? So this gets rid of any of those worries, comes with its own wall adapter, you're done. And the most important piece, this blue card. It says, caution, hot, do not touch. The Quantum Access utilizes a quad-core Intel Bay uh, Trail processor featuring Intel Burst technology. As a result, the speed and power, yada, 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 the device is going to get hot, so careful. Oh, that's important, but that's not what we're looking at. What we're looking at is the Azul Tech Quantum Access computer. This is a Windows 10 computer. Such a small little computer. Kind of beats out your average uh, laptop or desktop by a little bit or a lot. This is your Wi-Fi, again, antenna, so you can connect it to your wireless network. You have Ethernet in the back. We spoke to Alex of Azul recently at CES, who uh, uh, told us about the fact that this is the world's only HDMI stick computer that supports Ethernet. So if you do not have wireless, it's okay. You can plug this directly in just fine, and you'll still be able to get Internet. And on the side of the antenna, you have an SD card slot. It'll work up to 128 gigs. There's 32 gigs of onboard memory. You have your USB input, your micro USB port on the other side. This is for what you're going to be plugging this into, so you can get wall power out of it, so you can power it up. Uh, over here, you have your power button. Hold that to turn it on. You have your USB port, so this is so you need, in case you need to plug in something that's USB related, like a keyboard or mouse, a, a receiver pretty much, because uh, you're going to need to be able to control this darn thing. Uh, you can't really use the force just yet. Uh, the uh, USB port, you just put like a nano receiver or a, a mini receiver, whatever, you know, for like a Logitech or a Microsoft wireless keyboard and mouse set, and you're, you're ready to go right out of the box. Uh, your 
Uh, you have a little lock here, so in case you're demonstrating this and say in an expo, you know, a convention or something like that, uh, the public where you know someone might walk by and see that hanging off the TV, you have your typical laptop lock solutions. So that way you can lock it to the TV mount or wherever else so that nobody can snag it. And that's it. Uh, this side's obviously your USB, so it slides into your computer, to the back of your computer like that, plugs in, and you're ready to go. You have a computer connect connected to your TV, slides into your TV. Yeah. So wireless, wired, you have your USB for your keyboard and mouse, a lock to keep it secure, USB for power, power button, the Ethernet again, uh, micro USB, or excuse me, micro SD card for expandable memory up to 128 gigs, and there you go. This is the Quantum Access HDMI computer stick, LAN stick, for your TV. So that way if you're traveling, if you're a student uh, in the dorms or something, you want to minimize your space, you don't want to take up a lot of room, and you just need something simple to check email with, uh, Skype with your friends, or play around a little bit on some of your favorite applications or simple games. You don't want to do anything too crazy, although it is a quad core. It is, you know, obviously small in footprint. It's not going to have the same power as you're going to get out of a massive desktop. But it's also not anywhere as expensive as a massive, des massive desktop because this comes in at less than $200. So check it out, Azul. This is the Quantum Access. We're going to talk about it on the website at plcnetwork.net forward slash blog. And our authors will let you know what we think about it in terms of performance and everything else. Again, that's plcnetwork.net forward slash blog. And, of course, you can check out Azul's website as well, which I believe is azultech.com. Uh, yes, azultech.com. That's A-Z-U-L-L-E for more information. If you want to stay on top of all the latest and greatest and or at least the gadgets we cover, Remember to subscribe right here. Subscription button. Click it. You're going to want to. There's lots of videos, interviews, previews, all sorts of stuff. Button. Click it.